Hello, my beautiful soul family, my soul tribe <clears throat> collective, clearing of the throat chakra. Um, I have a really exciting channel message from Spirit for you guys, and it's about a manifestation coming in that went silent for a while, or or it went behind the scenes for a while. Well, there was something that happened that felt like it was paused or it had been forgotten about or it had been left in the past, but it's it's coming back round, okay? There's something coming back round. Um, so let me explain this. <laughs> you guys, they give it to me in the form of this analogy of a magician's show, which is so funny now I think about it because the magician is the card of manifestation and you manifesting. It's also the card about surprise and um, you creating, you co-creating with the universe to create surprise or to create a manifestation that you dream of or that you desired and how they put it to me was they played out this magic show for me and at the start of the show the magician pulls out a a red feather and he says right this is going to be important later on in the show look at this red feather um, you can have this red feather or look at this red feather and you're like wow red feather you get so stuck on this red feather and then they just put it to the side and they start doing all of these other card tricks all of these other magic tricks and we completely forget about the red feather we forget about it or the red way of thinking <laughs> those of you who couldn't forget you're like oh I really like that red feather I want to know what they're going to do with that it's kind of like sitting through the other tricks and it's like when is he going to do it is he ever going to come back is it has he forgotten about it this is like uh, the magician is universe and that red feather is your manifestation and it's like well are we ever going to get to see the red feather trick is the red feather ever going to come back is my manifestation ever going to come back what's that what's the journey to start my manifestation how's that going to play out and life goes on all these crazy twists and turns that seem so unrelated to this red feather right he carries on doing the magic tricks life carries on he does all these card tricks and he i don't know <laughs> he does the thing where they cut the people someone lays in the box and they cut the people and throughout all of these random things that you're just waiting to get through they seem so unconnected at the end when they pull the boxes apart the person disappears and turns into um a flock of glitter or a flock of red feathers and there is your red feather that thing that they told you to remember at the start and they went through all of these tricks all of these different paths all of these different situations and then eventually it just turned up out of nowhere that thing in the past that you've been manifesting those ideas that you had in the past that you wanted to manifest uh, of some of you, it was like a connection or a person, or maybe there is a connection or a person coming back from the past, right? There's something that you wanted to manifest, right? This is something that you want. This is something you wish for. And you felt like it just disappeared into thin air, like the feather, it just got put aside. Or um, maybe this is like some hobbies or passions that you love, but they got put they feel like they disappeared for a bit, you know what I mean? It doesn't mean that red feather, it doesn't mean those hobbies are never going to come back and have their time to shine within the life that is your show. It just means that they're culminating in a later date, right? They're culminating up to it and that all of these tricks somehow didn't seem related, actually align up. Everything's clicking together for you guys to do with a manifestation. Everything is clicking together. Everything that seemed unrelated everything that seemed like you were just on a different journey right you weren't on the way to that manifestation anymore you were just on a new path or a different journey or you've been going down a different path you're coming back to this you're coming back around to this passion to this person to this manifestation whatever this is that you are manifesting and a red feather let's see this could be something to do with your structure your home your routine your foundations because Red is the colour of the root chakra. So these are our foundational layers. These are our comforts, our security, our bases, the structures that we build that form our lives, that form our routine, the, the people that are a part of our main structure, the places and routines and jobs that are part of our main structure. Um, this is a change that you've been manifesting in some area to that or what you're manifesting will change those areas of your life 
that root chakra energy and you're gonna whatever this manifestation is it's something that's going to bring you a lot of abundance and security now whether that be comfort love safety you know assurance or whether that be money uh material security security is what you're manifesting that's what you're walking towards and with the feather as well this is mental relief this is mental freedom yeah uh, being the feather that resembles the air element and thought yeah mental freedom mental clarity this is what you're walking into this is what you're manifesting and it feels like it got put in the back for a bit or maybe it went astray or maybe uh, you were manifesting it nearly had it and then it went all different ways and it didn't quite turn out it's coming back around you guys so i'll pull a couple of cards but i think that is majority blank space look it's actually flipped around but blank space and the will on the other side karmic cycles ending divine timing and intervention this manifestation is coming in divine timing all right and that means like it will fall into your lap it will be aligned by coincidence of course there's no such thing <laughs> um yeah for some of you this is definitely the past to do with the past something coming back from the past a manifestation that you set in the past sometimes i'm misunderstood not everyone is meant to get me oh oh if, you, if this was a person maybe you feel oh, okay so there'll be like a couple people yeah, there was a miscommunicate or something, right? There could have been something happened within the communication with you and somebody else. Uh, maybe friendship wise or relationship wise, maybe you just drifted apart or there was some kind of separation. It feels like you're clearing up miscommunications or it feels like someone's coming back around. There's like healing, clearing up being done. Um, that's only for a few of you. But yeah, a lot of you, this is a manifestation revolved within your like we said, your foundational structure. We have caregiver here, needed support, earth angel. You give people a needed support. Wow. So whatever you're manifesting as well, you've built up so much amazing, beautiful karma for, through being the caregiver, not only to yourself, uh, no, not only to those around you, but also to yourself to honor your boundaries and make choices that even if they're hard or make decisions or create habits even if they're hard to keep up it's like you've you formed a commitment to yourself a commitment to loving yourself a commitment to believing in yourself a commitment to value valuing honoring and respecting yourself and your boundaries as well with people around you um i forgot what we were saying when we got off topic caregiver and Coming. this could be something that you're manifesting that you will be giving out some kind of care now again if this is you manifesting a relationship it doesn't have to be somebody from it doesn't have to be somebody from the past that you had necessarily like that you have bad feelings for it could be for some of you i feel like it is the case but maybe it will like get cleared up maybe there's things going on that um I don't know, maybe I'm getting like there was some kind of confusion, you, oh, right, some of you, if this was a person, there's like this energy built up of your intuition knowing that you wanted that or uh, that they were for you or something and then things happen between you two, maybe communication wise and now you're like, no, I don't, I don't want that anymore or it's like you kind of thought your intuition was wrong but now you're being proven it wasn't that's very specific that's for a few of you i feel like that's more of what we were on about in the other reading twin flame kind of situation but some of you this isn't somebody that you have any bad or animosity for this is somebody that um has been hiding in the shadows but they're from your past they could have been watching you um yeah encore they're definitely yeah, if it's somebody from the past, it doesn't have to be bad. It could be someone that you completely randomly forgot about or something. We've got King of Cups. Whoa. So there's a serious offer of commitment coming in for some of you. Uh, not love related wise. This could be you giving out care, giving out guidance, giving out advice in something that you're starting. Maybe a new job that you're starting or maybe... Um, a situation that you'll take up where you're giving out care or giving out love or this could be again a job that you're giving out inspiration or putting creativity into um 
pretty mixed here for what you're all manifesting, but you see they're all changes to your main foundation, your main structure of your life. Even though you're not here anymore, I still feel your presence. Someone, yep, the love's coming through strongly. Queen of Wands, going to be very attractive. They like your voice or you like their voice. It's kind of just like a lot of I wonder ifs or imagine ifs or coulda beens. A lot of coulda, woulda, shoulda kind of energy coming through. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, but didn't. Just do it. You regret, I wonder, you regret. No way. Sorry, I got so gassed about that card, but you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of woulda, coulda, shouldas. This card said, just do it. You regret, I wonder ifs, release outcome. Yeah, yeah. It's lonely above the clouds, but more magic than I ever could imagine. This is, right, for splitting timelines, for you that this is a person, uh, this is somebody who coulda, woulda, shoulda done something, they kind of regret it. They regret not just doing something. They regret not just doing it, not stepping forward. They see you as a very wise person, a very stable person. Um, for some of you, this is an acquaintance that's like, I just need to do it. I just need to reach, I just need to do it. And for some of you, this is you saying, just do it to yourself about something that you're starting. And it's because it's aligning for you. It's to do with this manifestation. You're like, just do it, just do it, just start something, just put something out there, just step out of your comfort zone or just just um, start adding to building something, you know what I mean? You're like, I'm going to just do it. But this just do it is coming in divine time and it is this manifestation um, piecing together for you. I'm starting to finally see my own power and potential. You guys, that's right. And there's a lot more of it where that came from. All right. I'm hearing you're asking all the right questions or um, someone's saying all the right things, asking all the right questions. You're asking all the right questions. Spirit wants you to know if you start doing something, maybe whether this is a job you're embarking upon or whether this is a person or a, or a passion or something, they're saying you're doing a really good job at, at making the steps you need to make, you're already exactly where you need to be, you're already doing exactly everything you need to do because, um, oh, what was I just saying? You're exactly where you need to be because you're asking all the right questions or they're saying to make sure you ask all the right questions. It's say if you're gonna go for a meeting or finding out something or if you're getting introduced to a person or someone's coming forth, they're saying, Ask all, ask, make sure you ask the important questions or, 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 you know, don't leave any ones that you'll leave thinking, oh, oh, I wish I said this. I wish I asked that. Um, also, um, yeah, if this is you starting a passion or a business, they're saying you're doing all the right things. Just, you're asking all the right questions internally that lead you to the stepping stones that are leading you to your manifestation. So say you're just researching something or learning something or diving deeper into something. They're saying you're, you're on the exact right path. That's going to lead you to a big epiphany. That is going to be your manifestation. So that's pretty cool. We've got a lot of things going on in the background right now. A lot of things going on in the background. <clears throat> We've had a lot of karmatic divine intervention recently a lot of bittersweet energy maybe but we already know it all happens for a reason and what is that reason box of chocolates so we had it feels bittersweet but i know it all happens for a reason and then underneath that we had this card stuck to it box of chocolates life's a box of chocolates you know since i wrote this card and and put that in the reading the other day i watched another tarot reading you said, I just thought it was really weird how the synchronicity keeps coming up. So this actually could be in synchronicity for you. Or you could be getting synchronistic messages in films that you're watching that are relating to your situation. Like you rising up from your situation. Or maybe something to do with something you've been watching. Or the music you're listening to. How it <clears throat> relates to your situation. Or something. You guys could have been listening to more nostalgic type of music or... Um, 
more nostalgic type of films maybe music that you listen to within the past maybe you're coming back around to it again or maybe you're watching some films or re-watching a series that you watched in the past or something oh connecting to past lives is on the bottom deck so you guys could have been wanting to connect more to past lives recently or something that you're going to start doing is connected to a past life of yours what you did in a past life um this could even be if this was a love reading for you what if you're resonating with that because some of you these are two timelines there'll be people in here who this is like a love situation and there's people in here where this is more of a self journey business journey situation and there's some people in here who is literally both so you know what will resonate for you you guys but I forgot what I was saying now. Oh yeah, this is a, if this is a love situation, this is somebody who is in a past life with you that maybe you will either go into business with or you'll encourage each other in some type of way, creative wise or work wise or something. Uh, also, yeah, there's, there's like someone from a past life that you might be working with or there's someone from a past life that's moving in for you. Uh, also, they're going to help you. Either they're quite tapped into their spiritual gifts or they're going to help you tap into your spiritual gifts or you're helping them to tap into their spiritual gifts. Either way around, you guys, it could be a bit of everything. Four of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Someone's being very, very strategic. This could be you or this could be the uh, person who wants to come in. They're being very strategic, making a plan to express, a plan to express, but it feels very, um, uh, it feels quite together. Like it's not really mushy, gushy, right? And this might cause a miscommunication because you might be the type of person that, you know, if someone's coming forward, they're coming forward, not just half-heartedly is what I'm getting. <laughs> maybe you won't like that if they come, someone comes forward half-heartedly. Or maybe this is you to somebody else. Or maybe this is you planning, right? You're thinking, you're planning, you're preparing, you're strategizing um, on your creative pursuits, on what actions you're taking next. Uh, you're kind of dissolving any areas in your mind that feel trapped like you're 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 tying up loose ends you're making something doable right and i, I hear some of you saying oh, i just hope it lives up to my expectation let the waves wash over to clear the shore fle fresh slate you're having a fresh slate a fresh start either with somebody or with your business because you are coming out on top success will be gained through this journey through this manifestation, internal alchemization, turning dark into light, shifting thought perspectives, and six of wands coming out on top, success. So there's been a lot of transmuting, a lot of alchemizing, a lot of learning, a lot of growing, a lot of wisdom gained through your journey. And that's why this is going to be successful, because you have... <laughs> You've alchemized to be perfect for this. You are perfect for this manifestation, okay? You are the perfect person for this. Right, so I think that's where I'm going to leave it, you guys. Last note, trust your intuition. You are more powerful than you give yourself credit for. That is true. We really are. We really are, you guys. So keep on trusting your intuition because... Your intuition already knew this, but some of you may have doubted it or thought spirit just forgot about it or thought that it wasn't going to happen anymore or just like, you know, maybe it wasn't meant for you. But if you ever have a passion or an idea or feel that deep connection to something, it's not just made up, you guys. It will come back around, right? Yeah, it will come back around. So hold on to those hopes because they are slowly coming to light you're planning you're preparing your dreams will become a reality and this was a very significant message so 1919 i just saw when i said that and then 1920 so yeah yeah right i love you all so much i'll speak to you soon hope you're having a lovely night or day or whenever you see this thank you for the love as well that you give i really seriously appreciate every single one of you you are my soul family okay i see you i see you through the screen and i'm giving you love and
sprinkling magic upon your day and yeah we're interacting here look we're, we're not in the same reality but we are because we're here together right now and time doesn't exist and space doesn't exist and whatever so i love you and yeah i'll speak to you soon <laughs>